So now we know a little bit about the Tailwind CSS. And now let's move on and let's build a very basic project with the Tailwind CSS, which will be a header of any application. So we'll be building a header of the application built with the Tailwind CSS. So we'll be applying some of the Tailwind utility classes to complete that header. So I can move on into the directory. We can move on into the app. We can create a new folder that can be a components. And inside the components folder, now we can move on. We can just define a new component that can be the header. So we can be the header dot TSX. And now inside this file, now we'll be defining our header of the application. So for that, now let's move on. Let's define the function. So we can have the function header. And after that, we'll be just exporting this function as well. So we can have the export default as this function. So now we have the function header and now we can render the header inside that like this. And now we can move on into the page. So here we are rendering the div, but we can directly move on into the layout file. And here after this body, so in this body, we can remove this children. We can just render the header inside that. So this can be the header. And inside that we can render the header of the application. So we can have the header like this. And now we can move on and we can define a main content inside the body. That can be the main. And now inside the main, we'll be rendering the children. So main will be rendering a children inside the next JS. So if we just say, if we move on to the application, so here you will be seeing on every page, you will be seeing the header inside that. So if you move on to any other page inside the next JS, but you will be seeing the header on the top because onto the root layout, we have the HTML file. And in the HTML file, we are rendering the body and first content that we have is the header. So now you can see, now we have the header. It is blank header. So we do not have anything as of now. So now let's move on into the header and let's close all other files. So we can close others. We can close the sidebar menu as well. So we have the export default function header. So now for header, we know that we'll be requiring some of these links. So we can define the array of the links. So we can have the links like this and that can be an array. So the array can be, we can have the services. We can have the block. We can have the students. So we'll be just creating a header for suppose like a school or like a educational institute. So we can create the header for that type of application. And now we can move on and here we are rendering the div. So we can remove the div as of now. And then we can directly render a nav tag like this. So we can have the nav and inside the nav we'll be having a UL. So we'll be having the UL in which we'll be having a lot of links. We'll be having these links inside that. And now before the UL, we'll be rendering the logo of this application as well. So we can have the logo and then we'll be having some text of that logo as well. So we'll be defining the content like this. So now we can move on into the nav. So you can see there won't be anything as of now. So we can move on into the nav. We can move on to the class name. So we can just provide some of the utility classes to build this header. So as we already know about the CSS, that how the CSS is, that how does the CSS works, what are the CSS classes and what are the CSS styles. So we can just implement some of the utility classes from the Tailwind CSS to apply these styles. So as we just saw some of the basic utility classes from the Tailwind, so we can use the background. So we can use the background that can be the gray. And so there are around 10 shades of each color inside the Tailwind. So starting from the 50, 100, 200 and going on till the 900. So we have 10 shades for each color. So we can give the background as the gray 800, background gray 800. And then what we can do, so we'll be rendering the logo, we'll be rendering the UL. So we can just put the display as the flex. So for the flex display, we can just use the flex. But here inside the application, we won't be seeing anything because we haven't specified the height and we do not have any children inside that. So here we have provide the flex as the display. If you will just hover over this class, so you have the flex class. And inside that, the class of the CSS, the style of the CSS is the display flex. And now we can move on. We can just provide a couple of more styles like we can have the justify content. So that should be the between. So we'll be having the justify between because we need the justify content to be aligned into the space between. So we'll be having some spacing between them. We can have the items as well. So we can have the items. We can have the center. So what this will do, so you can hover over the every class inside the tailwind. You can get all of these styles there. So here we have the styles for the align items and it is saying that align items to the center. And after that, what we can do, so we can define the height. So for each height, you can see starting from the zero, if you will just access the zero height, now you have some height and then you have the one, it is four pixels again for the two, it is X pixels. So the three, it is 12 pixels, the four, it is 16 pixels. So you can specify all of the properties of the height. So suppose we need the height of around 20, 20 into four, that should be the 80. And then we can have some padding as well, like the four. So we can have the P hyphen four for specifying the padding as the four, which is 16 pixels. So this will be all for the navigation. So if we save, if we move on to the application, 
if we just move 200 percent so here you can see now we have a basic navigation bar inside that a basic nav tag with some styles so for the logo i'll be using this hero icons package so you can see this is the hero icons and what it does so it provides you a couple of icons with their svgs and with the jsx as well so you can see we are building a website for an educational institute so we can move on we can copy the svg icon we can copy that and then we can paste that here so in this logo we can remove that and then we can paste that here and then you can see after this we have an error like we have the class so we need to convert this to the class name like this so we'll be having the class name so if we say if we move on to the application so here you can see inside the top left corner inside the start of the navigation bar we have the icon and now you can see now we have the icon we have the class names as well so you can see we have the class names of width we have six value we have the height we have the six we can define the color as well so we can add the text dash white to implement this color if we save if we move on to the application so now you can see now we have the color as well so you can see it is working totally fine so now we have this color so this is how the tailwind works and now if we need a uh, if we need like the company name as well after this logo then how can we do that so we can just move on we can just provide the paragraph after this svg so we can have the paragraph and i will now just minimize this svg tag so now we'll be having this paragraph so we can just provide a couple of styles for the paragraph as well so we can have the class name and there we can provide the text we can have the yellow 50 we can provide the margin left as the 4 and if we just add something like this so we can have the add hub like this if we just save if we move on to the application so now we have the edu hub inside the center of the screen so you can see now we have the edu hub inside the center but we need the edu hub after this logo so how can we do that so it will be automatically aligned after the logo once we write all of those links so that will be the functionality so after that now we can move on we can put the ml4 and then what we can do so we can just put the font as well so if we need the bolder font a little bolder font now what we can do so we can put the font as the semi bold so it will just apply the font weight of 600 into this style so you can just apply that style you can apply that font semi bold now you can see now you have a little bit bolder font with that and if you want to increase the font size as well again you can use the text dash to excel property so now you can see now you have a little larger font with that and now let's move on let's define the links as well so we'll be having a couple of styles for the ul as well so we can give the class name that can be the flex and after that what we can do so we can just put the justify as well so we can have the justify from the start so we need the items from the start so we have the flex property and now we can just put the gap between the items like gap can be around six pixels would be okay we can give the gap of around six that would be compared to 24 pixels so we have the gap of the six then we can just provide a list as well we can have the list dash run so we won't be having the disk effect inside the list and now we can move on we can just put the links inside that so again we can use the react approach we have the dynamic links so we can use the link set like this we can use the map function with that so with the map function what we can do so we can render a callback for each link that we have so for each iterator we can render a callback and inside that we can render a list item tag so we can render the li tag with that and we can put the key as well so the key would be the link itself as of now so we can just put the link because we have around three links as of now and after this li we can provide the a tag as well for providing that link so for the a we can provide the ref as the hash and then we can just put the value of the link inside that and the link would be we can just point the link itself like this so now you can see now we have the links as well inside that and then you can see everything seems to be working perfectly fine so now we have the links over there but now if we just move on you can see now these are not visible at all so we can move on we can just provide some color so we can move on we can just provide the colors to the parent ul element because if you provide the style to the parent it will automatically be applied to the list item as well so we can just provide we can provide the text we can have here the gray that should be gray 100 or 200 would be okay if we provide that style if we save and now you can see now we have the list items as well so you can see now we have the colors of that and everything seems to be working perfectly fine once again and now we can move on we can just provide a font as well so again you can see this font is not looking good so we can just increase the font weight of the font so we can move on again we can use the font as the semi bold and if we save if we move on to the application so now you can see now we have the semi bolder font and then you can see it is working totally fine so you can see now we have defined all of that so you can see now it is looking good and now the last step of this header so we can just move this edu hub like here we can just move this edu hub here so we can move on and we can just provide the paragraph text so here we have the paragraph we have the text yellow we have the margin left as the four we have all of the things so we can move on into the paragraph so after the text to excel we can provide the margin from the right 
so we can have the mr and that should be the auto so it will automatically aligned after the right margin so now you can see now it's aligned into the left and then you can see it is looking very good so now you can see within a couple of minutes we have recreated the header of any application so this is the educational institute so we have just provided the header of this application and then you can see it is working perfectly fine so you can see now this is how we can just create some of the basic projects with the tailwind so in this project now we have built this header and it's looking perfectly good and now let's move on into the bigger projects in which we'll be just defining a landing page of this application as well so now that's it for this header project.